And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a small card game called Alien Entity. Now this falls into the realm of social deduction games, where in this game one person is an alien on a spaceship and everyone's trying to figure out who that alien is, why they're infecting everyone else. In essence, it's the plot of The Thing, but it's done on a spaceship. Okay, is this the first time we've seen this kind of game? No, there's a lot of games out there. Not only that have the same theme, but have the same genre of this social deduction, figuring out who's the bad guy and who's not. So what does this one offer new? Let's find out. At the beginning of the game, each player is given a card, and you're going to be either a human or you're going to be the alien. So these cards are shuffled out. Their secret players are also going to get two cards off of this deck. On each person's turn, they're going to draw two of these cards, and then you can play one card in front of you, or you can pass cards to as many players, as long as at the end of your turn, you still have one card in your hand. Now let's take a look at some of the cards, some examples of the cards. We have a sabotage kit where you can steal a piece of equipment someone else has played. A satellite dish. If you have the satellite dish and a data chip and a power supply, so there's the power supply, here's the satellite dish, and there's the data chip. If one human player plays all three of those, they win. So you can pass these cards to other players. As it, now, there's also infection cards in here. The alien is the only person who's allowed to pass these. If he passes it to you, then you're infected. You have to keep it in your hand. And you're going to uh, you get plus one point for every infected human. The alien is trying to infect everyone to get the alien to win. You have cards that you can pass to other players that will tell them what you're trying to do. Team up with me. I'm trying to build the satellite uplink array. You have cards where you can't be infected this round. You played it in front of you. There's a flamethrower. There's a gun and ammunition. And you can kill another player, although the alien's not allowed to kill another player. And that's pretty much the whole game. You're allowed to do any kind of table talk you want. So you are drawing two cards. You may play one card in front of you. You can pass as many cards as you want to other players, as long as you keep one card remaining in your hand. You, once you are infected uh, from the alien, and only the alien can affect players, you can't pass those cards away. You have to keep them. You can't discard them unless you play the, the kit that allows you to do so. And you can't infect another player. Only the alien can do that. Uh, so the game ends if the humans kill the alien. Whoever kills the alien gets two points. All the other players get one. If someone gets the satellite, re you know, gets the whole satellite array up and running, they can call for help, and everyone gets two points for the humans. And if the alien infects everybody, the alien player gets one point for each human infected, and all the infected players get one point except for the last infected human. That's how you play. The game comes with a little comic book, which is, I guess, I don't know. It's about, you know, it's like zombies, really, not aliens, but whatever. I am not a fan of the art in this game. I don't think the alien card itself, the humans look like Kickstarter backers, but the alien, eh, the art's okay. The card quality is okay. The font is okay. The whole thing just has kind of a very homemade type feel to it. The rules are unfortunately not very good. They don't explain a lot of things. There's a lot of things. Can an infected shoot a human? Um, if, if you're dead and the alien wins and but you were infected, do you get it, there's just a lot of little things that the rules don't explain quite well. Now, aside from my dislike of the art and the production of Alien Entity, and that is a big thing, right? Because the game isn't that big. So if that doesn't do it, then the gameplay better be amazing. And the gameplay is not. I mean, honestly, there is 50 plus social deduction games out there right now. And I'd be hard pressed to find one that I thought was worse than this one. This one is just very boring. It has one really neat concept to it. The passing of the cards and giving cards that have clues on them. That I like. I like that idea in general. It just doesn't work in this game. The infected, the alien player is just hoping to get infection cards. If they don't get them, well, then they don't win. It's so lucky. 
If they get the infection cards, they give them to you. You have a way to get around them, but pretty soon... So the game's going to end like this. The alien player gets infection cards, infects people, boom. Um, or they never get any, and one player manages to get the satellite relay, and he's like, hey, I'm trying to get this. A couple players pass him the cards, he builds it and wins. Granted, the alien could be saying that, the alien could be lying, the human player, you know, but it doesn't happen that way. It's just, it's a clunky game. And there's like, ooh, but you can talk and double talk. But there's really not much you can say other than, I'm an alien. I mean, I'm, I'm not an alien. I'm not an alien. Everyone's saying they're not an alien. But there's no good way to prove that. Sure, the alien could start building a satellite array in front of them. But unless they play that third card, it doesn't matter. So anyone could build the first two cards with three. And since one person has built all three, they could be lying the whole time. So there's no reason for an alien not to do that. He should do that and not pass him to someone else. You can say, pass me some cards, and if you give me bad cards, and I'll say, well, listen, that's all I had. And again, some of this sounds like it should work in theory, but it doesn't in this game. And that, coupled with the bad art, just makes us a pass. It really does. Again, there are so many games out there from the Resistance to, you know, games that are just so finely tuned and there's strategies and interesting things. This one is like, oh, I have an idea. Let's take this. IP and change it to something else and it just comes across as a wannabe game and I know that sounds harsh I don't mean it to but that's really what this is every if you play this and you're like this is definitely better than any of the other ones out there then go for it but I imagine most people will play this and pass it and then go play a better game dice tower of judgment just bad all around <laughs> Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Check <laughs>